Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again. My name is Rebecca and tonight we're going to do a restorative yoga flow. Um, you'll need kind of a firm pillow. Um, you can use a larger rolled up mat if you need to. Um, a couch cushion will work and you will need one yoga block as well. Um, so go ahead and join me. Um, restorative yoga is great for when you're just kind of feeling like, you know, I want to do yoga, but I don't, you know, um, I need res restoration in my life. Um, and I need to get there. It's very energetic, even though the moves are held for a few minutes. Um, it's very energetic to have a restorative yoga flow. Um, we're going to do five different moves that are held for about three minutes for each move. Um, and so I will guide you through each and then we'll just hold them. Um, and you're going to be like, really, this is a yoga pose. But when you're done, the amazing benefits that you're going to feel when you're done, um, <clears throat> you're going to be like, I want to do restorative yoga all the time. Um, I started doing it. I had never done it before. Um, I work a pretty physical job. Um, have had a lot of injuries in my life. And yoga has been a staple in my life for about 10 years. Um, and when I found restorative yoga, um, I use it especially when I'm having an extremely like hard day of work, I use it. Um, because I want to not only get some of that energy back that was taken away during the day, but I also want to gently do yoga. So um, I'm going to move my little block a little bit out of the way. <clears throat> so we're going to do a version of child's pose. Um, I have a bolster. Um, like I said, you can use anything. You can use a pillow. Um, you can use a larger rolled up mat. Um, I have a lot thicker mat than this one. Um, you can use that. If you have multiple yoga mats, you can roll them up. Um, a blanket, a thick blanket will help. Um, <clears throat> but I like to come into my child's pose, I was taught, to make sure my big toes are touching. And I try to bring them as wide as the mat, my knees. And all you're gonna do, and you're gonna be like, what? But <laughs> Trust me on this, okay? All you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your pillow or your bolster um, close to the inside of your legs and you're just going to lay with your arms at a 90 degree angle. Um, you're just gonna lay on your pillow. Um, you can stretch your arms out if you'd like. Um, I just find it more comfortable with them at a 90 degree angle. So just come into this pose when you're ready. We'll just hold it um, for about three minutes. You can keep your um, head turned to one side. Throughout it, you can turn your head to the other. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. So get into your pose. Uh, we're just going to stay here for about three minutes. Try not to fall asleep.
it, so we'll just come up out of it. All right, um, we're gonna come into butterfly or, <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna come into our butterfly pose. So we have our feet together. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your pillow. I'm gonna turn mine up on its side and you just can sit. You can rest, you can bring a block. Now let me grab my block and I'll show you what you can bring a block. <clears throat> so you got your pillow and your block. You're just resting your head on your bolster or pillow um, and then your yoga block. If you need to, you can turn your block up and hold on to the pillow. So to get ready, just come into your pose. Um, like I said, we're coming into butterfly. So our feet are together, hands are holding onto the end of our pillow, and we're just using a block on top of our pillow. So I have my block on top of my pillow, and we're just coming down. Try not to fall asleep. <laughs> I guess it is like taking a nap. You're in these poses because you're so relaxed. Try to shut out whatever stresses you have throughout your day as you go through this. And just let your mind think about the pose. Just feel yourself melting deeper into the stretch. and come back up okay so we're gonna do a wide-legged supported fold so I am going to bring my bolster up on end um, <clears throat> just so that I have a little bit more support so the pillow is pressed up against my body um, again I am in line with my pillow I'm not leaning off to one side you can use your block if you'd like. And you can grab your block and come into this position. Or if you need a little bit more support, you can press in to the pose like this. If you really want to get into a deep stretch, you can come and you can bring your hand for down and bring your block. Bring your arms to your legs. Just a minute. 
feel the stretch. Whatever feels good for you, just do it. But we're in a wide-legged forward fold. <clears throat> supported by a bolster and a block. Inhale, come out of the position, okay? We're going to come onto our backs, but we're going to do a supported supine twist, okay? So, through this one, um, we'll do like a minute and a half on each side. So what you wanna do is you want to come up with your, your legs on an angle, you want to bring your cushion or whatever you have right up against your back and you're going to lay on your on your bolster or your pillow okay, and you're going to stretch your legs out except for your left and you're just going to roll your knee over okay so you've got your left leg up your body's over your bolster and you're going to roll your leg over my husband struggles with sciatic pain, and this really helps. So inhale and exhale as you lay in this. Just hold it. You can bring your hand to your knee if you want, or you can just sit with it. Try not to twist your body too much off of the bolster. Come back up to center, stretch your leg out, okay? Right knee comes up, twists over to the side. You can adjust yourself however you would like. Um, if you're not feeling that you can twist to one side, just keep your leg out. 
I'm going to twist a little. Just feel it. Just feel the stretch. Um, you can also cross your legs over if you'd like. You could cross your ankles if that helps. Um, just feel the stretch. Just wash away anything from the day as you sit through this. And inhale. And then exhale. Inhale, legs come down. Okay, we're going to do a variation of a fish pose. Um, you're going to stay in your exact same pose, but you're just going to bring your arms over your head to touch behind you. You can clasp them together. You can um, let them hang loose if you would like. Um, if it's a lot of a stretch on your hands, you can bring your block. Let me see if I can get my block behind me without looking. Um, you can bring your hands to your block. Um, this is a great shoulder stretch. So once you get into whatever feels comfortable, um, just inhale and exhale into the pose. This one's great for lower back pain as well um, and for shoulder pain. Um, just keeping your arms stretched above your head is a great stretch. You can pull on one arm if you would like, your other as you're here, and then switch. Just kind of stretching those shoulders out as you're in this pose.
right. You can come back to center with your arms. Ooh, so I'm kind of stretching my arms out pretty good. Um, we'll just stay here as we talk. And uh, <clears throat> just feel how you feel when you get done with this practice today. Um, feel if you're re-energized. Come back to this whenever you're feeling a little blah. Um, and again, thank you for joining me. Um, you are amazing. You are great. Jesus does love you. And I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you for supporting my channel. And have a good day.